I'm Michael Norman, Vista Marietta High School, senior graduated heading on to USC, just back from Olympic trials, fifth there in the 200 meter dash, tied for number three all time US in, in the 200 meter dash, the number six all time in the 400, number two in California in the 100. But the thing is, nationally, there are so many good athletes this year in the US. Gatorade is the most prestigious award. It's not just about the athletics, it's also the character and the grades. And that's where Michael Norman separated himself from the group to be the national track and field athlete of the year award. How much does that mean to you, the Gatorade award, your second year now running? It's an amazing experience, you know, or a feeling, not experience. Uh, it's just getting, earning a prestigious award like that, it just, it's, it's a humbling thing. You know, coming out here with all these other great athletes just want, makes you want to better your performances and just better yourself as a person. So I think just, just earning this award is just a huge accomplishment. It definitely, definitely is. All you gotta do is look at the list of names in the past and it's a who's who. Olympic trials. I'm sure you went in with certain goals, you know, pie and sky goals and goals you really wanted that were maybe a bit more closer to reality. And then now you have the aftermath. How did you fare compared to what you wanted to achieve? And what's probably the biggest lesson you learned from the experience? Well, I kind of had like no expectations or pressure going into the Olympic trials. I just wanted to come out there and run. But in a first session, you know, the 400, it was very disappointing, I feel. You know, I felt like um, I just didn't perform to my best ability. And that, that's what was really disappointing. But, you know, other than that, you know, I took all of that, you know, that just that experience of running that one race. And I took all that experience in it and changed my whole approach for the 200 second session. So I mean, after that, I, you know, having no expectations or zero pressure, you know, I was just having a lot of fun going out there running the uh, first round, semis, and even the finals of the 400. I just enjoyed my time there. You know, running on a stage as big as Oregon with like 22,000 people was just um, like mind blowing. I was just like having the time of my life. You know, those people were like truly track fans, and it just it made track feel like something special. Michael, before the 200, you seemed a bit more zoned in. Did you do anything different for that 200 leading into it after the 400 didn't go the way you wanted it to? I was After the 400, I was determined. I was so determined not to get out the first round, so I just had to go out there and run. You know? after, the, the, after the 400, I was just full of disappointment and a little bit of anger, so I was like, actually, I was pretty angry. But uh, yeah, so I just came in with a new approach and a new attitude towards the 200 and just ran my heart out. And, you know, it worked out pretty well. I know in the CF meets you want to run really fast. People were comparing your times from this year to last year. What a lot of people didn't know is Coach Candale kind of shifted your workouts because you guys had to work for a later peak for the meets in the summertime. And it seems to be paying off right now because you're running, running really well. Uh, how did that work out for you? And was there any, any point where you're getting anxious because you want to run faster during the high school season? Uh, Coach, Coach Candale's plan worked out great. Yes. You know, he. I don't know what he does, but whatever he does, it works, and he's just so organized. That's, that's what I loved about like how, how he coaches me. It's just, he's too organized. No. Yeah, he, he's very organized. I, I like that because like yes. if I have a coach that's like really unorganized, it kind of just starts getting in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this is no. really going to go down. But you know, Coach Canel, he has everything organized, ready for the week, and it, it just it works out. So, but uh, what was the second part of the question? I think that was primarily it. One thing also. Oh. He, he mentioned that there's the two goals for you yes. after high school. One, the important goal was to make the world team. Yes. The big goal, kind of because kind of ooh, is the Olympic trials to go ahead and qualify and do obviously do well there. You achieve both. What's the big goal for you? What's the big focus for you that you want to take away from Poland for the world you for the world U20 uh, later this month? Uh, I just want to go out there, experience the international meet, and then just enjoy everything you know it would be nice to come back with uh, some hardware you know gold medals that's definitely like on my list but I, I really just want to take in the experience and soak it all in all right michael norman great great career so far wrapping up one more meet over in poland and then off to usc best wishes to our gatorade national boys track and field athlete of the year thank you <laughs>